and welcome back to another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. We're going to go ahead and jump on in here and get things going uh, right where we left off in the last episode. I applaud your taste. Mm. All's well that ends. Not as bad as I could have.
Alright, do not save on the first round. Really? Save on the first round! We got my mic was muted, but I cannot believe this guy saved on the first round. He has done that. I've had to do this fight several times. He has done that every single time. Let's feel my way. It's like it is unconscionable that this guy can save on the first round every time. No, of course, I can't, I can't hit nothing. But I can't move it either. I guess I can. A little baby step there. Nope. That's it. Carlac is my go-to girl. She just throwing these skeletons all over the place. I'll drink the hill giant strength potion. Save me because uh, I'm not strong enough to hit those things. Well, it doesn't look like she's really strong enough either. All right, is he gonna save on the first try again? No. Yes. Yes, of course he does. Of course he does. Because that's what he does. Again. At least he's getting it for one round. I guess that's a plus. Got a little bit of movement off of it. 
Now can I move it? Nope. Let's go. We need to ride. Walk up to it. Ooh, she can make it. There you go. What about this one? There we go. Out, I can make that jump. Oh, I can make that jump. Huh. Okay. Do I have any movement left? I do have movement left. Okay. Oh, I think I actually got it this time. There goes those. Oh, I didn't get all of them. Okay. Okay. They'll have to do it once more. You need not enough movement. Are you trying to go around him? Can you not walk straight forward? Do I have any movement on him? I do.
Finally! Finally I got it done! Alright, finally got done with that fight. I thought I was never gonna survive that thing. Alright, let's figure out what's going on here. I have felt you coming. The first in a century. You, who have come to seek the praise of your wicked goddess. You, who have come to drive a dagger through my heart. Not a dagger, a spear. My Lady Shah's spear. Her fate is mine to seal, let me handle this. The fate you seal is your own. To be a dark justicia is to turn your heart from everything but loss. You will know no love, no joy, only servitude, until of course your mistress inevitably discards you. And there is much she does not tell you. Mm -hmm. A terrible I blood price me. that may extend beyond my own death. You feel Shadowheart bristling. This is important to her. But your bond is strong. You may yet be able to sway her from the path of duty to the path of light. And Night Song is not blind to your conflict. Behind that raging heart is the restless beat of one who knows too well that her fate hangs in the balance. Okay, tread lightly here. I yes, I think so. My whole life's been leading to this. No turning back now. Eagle Splendor. Oh, a 30? Yeah, that ain't gonna beat it. Can we try again? Oh, we can't. If I have to step over your corpse to fulfill what Lady Shah asks of me, so be it. Your choice. What's that I sense? A spear intended for my heart? Empowered by your goddess, I. Empowered to kill the child of a god. Do you know what I am, little assassin? For I know you. A lost child. Frightened by wolves in the dark. What did you say? Much has been promised to you, hasn't it? But what has been taken from you? What do you know of your own heart? Your own life? I sense more in you than you know. Whatever you think you know of me won't matter once I become who I'm meant to be. Okay, I got one. Is that enough? Well, don't throw it away. I 
can't believe I just did that. <laughs> Lady Shah will disown me. What will happen to me? Not what will happen. What will you do? Your past is not yet lost. Your future is not yet fixed. Lay a hand on me in friendship, not quite Sharon. And I will fight the battle that has been waiting for me this last century. Then, oh then, we will have much to discuss. so curious that you would spurn your dark lady perhaps you feel a stirring of the truth already but that will come later there is a battle yet to be fought you have done what we feared was impossible you have released me from a century of sorrow your power is great so too must be your weapon you must choose what you will wield and the Moon Maiden will provide. Thus I have said, thus will it be so. Are you ready? What? To kill Ketherick Thor. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, that one's, that one's fine. Hey, what about the weapon you we said? We need to leave. Lady Shah won't stand for us to be here, not after what we did. I'm not sure there's a place that's far enough away for me to go. Lady Shah must be angry. There's only silence. Let's get out of here, please. Whatever's coming, I don't want to be in the heart of the Shadowfell when it finds me. The Night Song will be headed for Moonrise Towers. We'd better get there and see what she's unleashed against Catherick Thorne. Wait. Oh, I was like, why can't I move? What do you 
Yeah. Shadowheart? What happened? You were missing for a moment. I... I thought I was done for. I thought perhaps I might have been dead. This... This is all like some sort of terrible dream. But it's real, isn't it? I stood before the night song. I heard Lady Shah's words. And I failed her. No, you didn't. failed her. I defied her. Just because of what that Asimar said. I tried to leave, but Shah blocked me. Punished me for failing her. I thought I knew the limit of pain that the incurable wound could inflict, but... I had no idea. It felt like I was suffering the agony of a thousand people all at once. My blood was boiling, my hair was on fire. I thought I'd claw my own face off with the pain. But then she released me. Banished me, more like. She said I was an outcast. That all of her children would know me and revile me. Shadowheart looks distraught. Abandoned by her goddess and all oh. former allies. And as for her divine magic, admitting who empowers her now may break her spirit for good. I suppose I do, don't I? Mm-hmm. You've done more to help me than my faith has in recent times, if I'm honest. Thank you. There's been something between us for some time. A connection. More than friends. I recognized it, but didn't act on it. I oh. thought my faith was the most important thing in my life. I couldn't have been more wrong. Finally, you understand. I've squandered too much time already. I want to be with you. Now and always. Do you want the same? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't feel the same way. It wasn't too long ago that I could never imagine smiling again. Shows what I know. Night Song promised she'd tell me something about myself. I need to speak with her as soon as I can. What well, she said to me back in Shadowfell about the wolves. That's no coincidence. She took flight to hunt down Kethrick Thorm. All I can do is help hasten his demise. And hope that answers soon follow. Thank you. I think any attempts at comforting me might be in vain just now. But you're sweet to keep me in your thoughts. You Do you feeling? really need to ask? I'm sorry. I have a lot on my mind. The shadow fell. Night song. I can think You're of going through else. all the different options now because I've got new options. I'm counting on it. I have little else to turn to. The sooner I speak to Night Song, the sooner I'll know what the future holds for me. Assuming I have a future at all. Of course you got a future. All right. All right, so now
Assault on Moonrise Tower. Now, before I go there, that might be worth a look. That piece of garbage Raphael is taking that guy. Gone. Uh, was taking Ra uh, Raphael was taking that guy to uh... wait why did I not discover that earlier oh I didn't go this way wait oh this is onto the top of the house of feeling okay yet. I guess he's not here. He said the house of healing, right? I'm quite sure. Oh, no. Now. Yep. All right, with us being here, I'm going to go ahead and call it there for today. I want to thank you all for joining me. Uh, please like and subscribe, and you all have a wonderful day.